belief. Many of us struggle in this area. Belief. Amen? This is where the enemy comes and he, I like to refer to it as raper minds of that which God has so put on it. Amen? This is why the word tells us to cast out every imagination and every high thing that exhausts itself against what? The knowledge of God. Amen? That means if you tell me I'm ugly, it means nothing to me because the word of God said that I was created in his image and in his likeness and I'm perfect in him, wonderfully made and I am the apple of his eyes. Amen? Amen. So you have to grasp what the word says and not what man say. Amen? Belief. Now I want to break this down and I'm going to kind of slow this down here because this is going to be what makes or break what God is about to do even in this house. Amen? If you don't believe, that means you won't expect anything. And if you don't expect anything, you won't get anything. Amen? The word of God says in Ephesians 3.20, it says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above what our minds can think or conceive according to the power that is within us. And I like to tell them in our ministry that exceedingly abundantly far above nothing is nothing. Let me repeat that again. Exceedingly abundantly far above nothing is nothing. Amen. The Hebrew word for believe is amen. It's spelled A M A N. It's pronounced aman. Amen. It means to be firm, stable, established also to be firmly persuaded to believe solidly in its casual form a man means to believe that is to consider trustworthy this is the same word used in Genesis 15 verse 6 when Abraham believed in the Lord he was firmly persuaded. Amen? He believed solidly that no matter what instructions he got, no matter what he saw, he knew the word of God is able to fulfill whatever it promised that it will fulfill. Amen? Glory be to God. Jesus. Follow me, I'm going somewhere. Yes, Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. In 2 Chronicles, a man appears three times in one verse and could be translated, be established in the Lord. I want you to open your spiritual ears and catch this. Be established in in the Lord and you will be established. That means if you're established in anything else, if you're established in your job, if you're established in a man, if you're established in a woman, you will never be established until you're established in the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. That's where our help comes from. Amen? Amen? Now from a man comes another word. It's pronounced immuna, E-M-U-N-A. And we hear it so many times in the scripture, and it means fate. From belief, aman, comes immuna, fate. Because fate 
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I don't need faith if I already have seen the thing. So the fact that I believe that God is able is what allows me to have faith in what I've not yet seen, waiting for it to manifest into substance. 